I'm 23 years old. I live in between Amsterdam and London. I go back and forth a lot and I travel a lot as well. Just see loads of different places as much as I can for work and meet new people. And because Holland really, when I come home, I work with people that I know really, really well and uh, I've, I've been through a lot of things with and whenever you work together, you just understand each other really well. You know each other's history, and London is so experimental and new, and it's nice to have that kind of flow. All my hand tattoos are just little scribbling. My friend's a tattoo artist, so I was just kind of drawing on my hands, and then all of a sudden I thought of the idea to just get these done. I'm quite color focused anyway, so whenever I wear just one colored element, I just want to match something else with it. My nails and my hair and my shoes and all of that. sorts of different schools so I've learned lots of different styles of education as well so yeah. I love nail art obviously being a Tokyo girl at heart I feel that I've kind of got nail art and kind of Harajuku style and stuff kind of ingrained in me. Nail art excites you like every time you kind of you know, whatever mundane thing you're doing, you always see it, and it's unlike any piece of clothing, you see it constantly, so I think it kind of, it's kind of like a bit of art in like every day. an avid vintage clothing collector and ever since I was like eight years old, nine years old, I would wake up early in the morning and you know, look around for the best vintage finds every Sunday and um, it all started from that and then now I wear pretty much only vintage. Hello darling. In a couple of hours I'm going to be on a train to Paris. I'm very excited, yeah. I'm going there to learn how to use CGI and to learn how to edit because I'm an artist and I do a lot of paintings and um, animate the paintings so that they, they move and so I'm creating moving paintings. <laughs> when you're looking at comic, it's like um, storyboarding almost, you know, you have different images that gives you a uh, idea of what the rest of the book is about. I definitely think that there's a, very much of a connection to my artwork to comics. Paris, here I come. Hopefully I'll find some romance. <laughs> Got me in 
a degree in hair and makeup. I sing, model. Whatever's fun and like creative, I just kind of do what I feel really. It depends what mood I'm in. Anything to do with art and music and fashion. I am really into geometry. I do just love anything that's kind of geometrical and interesting looking. I love nails, I really do. Like, I love these, I love these colours because they're just really bright and like refreshing. It's just like a finishing touch, isn't it, I think. Check this out. I like every genre of music. Yeah, I just like things that sound good and make you feel good. I know a lot of like music creators and stuff, so that do different sorts of things. Anything that's kind of like weird and different, but you know, anything that sounds good again. I think I'm a bit crazy, so these are just perfect for me, really, to be honest. The time. Love soft as an easy chair. Love fresh as the morning air. One love that is shared by two I have found with you Like a rose under the April snow I was always certain love would grow love I moved to London two years ago and started studying music Obviously, you meet a lot of musicians there, which are always, in my opinion, the most interesting people. I think whenever you meet new people, you also discover a new side of yourself. So that's always exciting. I've been singing since I was four. I have a duet with my father, actually. We started playing together when I was five, and we still do so after 16 years. Glory in midnight sun.